Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's a what's new in Transformer time. Yay! Oh, I love talking about some new stuff. Yeah, basically, I just talk about new Transformers and what's coming up. I don't have them in hand, so let's just talk about it. All right, grab you some popcorn, grab you a favorite beverage, whatever you gotta do to relax and just enjoy the show. All right, let's go. And up first, as always, we have add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And up first, we have Shockwave Lab SL-85. We got an upgrade kit for Studio Series 62 Soundwave. Yay! We get the tentacles. All right. We get two of those. And you get some inner thigh, uh, you know, covers or anything, whatever, some gap fillers. So that's pretty cool. And they have magnets at the end of them. So you can put screws or whatever you want to put at the end. As long as it will stay there, you can have some fun. You can have some tentacle stuff, man. Awesome. It's awesome. Because you remember in the movie, you just got those little tentacles and it just, you know, goes all over the satellite and you can do whatever you want. But it's pretty cool. You know, really nice little add-on. You can uh, attach them to the little oil barrels underneath his um, armpits and you can have fun with some tentacles. Awesome. It's awesome. Then we got some new stuff from Matrix Workshop. M-34 Weapon Kits for Earthrise RC. Alright. So you get three new guns. Uh, you get actually a, a, you know, a sniper extension for one of the guns. And you get two swords. So kind of a little thing on the Thrilling 30. She came with swords and everything. So looks pretty good. I actually like this. I might actually pick this up for a little add-on kit for RC. I think the little gun she came with was pretty cool. But to have her rifle and everything, that's pretty cool. She has a, a sniper rifle, so that's nice. And I do like those swords. They're like, uh, you know the nice uh, translucent blue uh, right there so pretty cool stuff so matrix workshop m-34 weapons for earth Re earth rise rc awesome I'm liking this stuff, man. Come on now. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for add-on kits today. And one of my favorite things to do is talk about legends. But only one thing to talk about. Looks like I've got some new box, uh, you know, box art or whatever, the what the packaging is going to be for New Age Soundwave. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be out really soon. Hopefully I can get it. You know, I really want to uh, check this guy out and everything. So that's about it. That's all we have on legends. Just some new uh, box stuff for uh, Soundwave. All right. Well, all right, moving on to third-party MP scale news. And it looks like Lemon Tree is still hanging around. We haven't got anything from them, but they're still showing us stuff. So LT-04 Blueberry, this is their sound wave. And look, you know, I mean, it's early stages of the prototypes and everything. So he does got a little ravage with him. He does kind of turn into a cassette player, and that's pretty cool. It's got a nice little stand. I wonder if that's coming with it. I doubt it. But uh, so, yeah, this is new images of their LT-04 Blueberry. And it looks pretty good. Like I said, they have it. I think I think their prime is fixed and come out i may check it out to see you know it's a new company i want to see how it is and everything so uh but yeah this is their uh, sound wave and looks decent so far so we'll see all right lemon tree man you gotta love some fruit all right up next we got some news from master made and they got a devastator coming so these are kind of little waterhead baby things you know they did omega uh fort max trypticon uh, so they do have uh you know devastator coming they are separately um they do transform so that's pretty cool they do come with a little add-on with the drill bits and everything and the gun it looks pretty cool i don't have any of these uh, my boy robert d he says he's really good everything um, i've heard some good things about them they're pretty cool but i just never really got into them but you know that's pretty cool that they all you know come in you know six different bots and they do transform and they form devastator and that's pretty cool if you like waterhead baby stuff here you go. Master Mate has Devastator coming for us. All right. Big head babies. Well, all right. That's all we have for third party news as well. So let's move on to the meat and potatoes. We had a lot of great official news coming out. Starting off, we'll just do some, you know, some statue news. Why not? Prime One Studios has a Museum Masterline Transformer 2007 Blackout stash, uh, statue revealed. Looks really good. Not a whole lot of pictures. Uh, you know, it's from the 2007 live action movies. Uh, images just let us see, you know, a little bit of what, you know, is going on. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get some better pictures or anything but so far it looks good you know prime one studios is really known for their statues and uh, they're beautiful um really expensive uh but they're really beautiful so yeah we got new prime one studio master line transformers 2007 blackout statue all right my goodness and also from prime one studios we got dark of the moon megatron statue my god this thing looks freaking beautiful you may not like the character or whatever it is but man you've got to tip your hat to this thing is 
Ugh, breathtaking. So statue size is going to be about 31 inches tall. It's going to be 36 inches tall with the fusion shotgun that's raised. Uh, you get a design theme base which reflects the iconic African scene. You get LED uh, um, light up features on the eyes for Megatron. Uh, you get adjustable fabric cape and, cape and cloak. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. You get the potato sack to move around. That's nice. Uh, you get uh, three swappable right arms with a normal, a shotgun lowered, and a shotgun raised. You get three lens meter Decepticons. You also get an Igor, which is pretty cool. It's about five inches tall. Now, that's exclusive version only. And you get a three additional lens meter Decepticons, exclusive bonus version only. So there's going to be two different bonus versions. Oh, wow. Anyways, this thing... It looks spectacular. I mean, golly, I wish I could afford this stuff. Oh, man. So, yeah, new images of Prime 1 Studio Dark of the Moon Megatron statue. Wow. Sham wow. All right, good news for Australia, man. If you miss Combiner Wars Devastator, there's going to be reissued, uh, reissued by Amazon. So, yeah, great news. Uh, it's going to be exclusive. Uh, Hasbro Australia confirmed that in 2015, Combiner Wars Devastator is being reissued only 300 units will be available uh, so sometime around October, November. So be on the lookout if you really miss this and you want a Combine Awards Devastator. Australia, here is your chance, man. Good luck. I hope you get one. All right. And we also got new images of Transformers Studio Series SS-69 Giggity Devastator Multipack in box images. So we do see a box and then now we see the what's inside of it. Like I said, they are doing a box set for the Studio Series Devastator, which... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no Rampage on this release uh, are packed inside a plastic bubble in combiner mode. Mixmaster is packed in the cargo you know, board on top together with his front truck piece and skipjack stand overloads uh, extra piece. Uh, so that's so far, you know, this is what we've seen. So, you know, what we've seen so far and it's pretty cool. So if you, you know, missed your chance to, you know, get a couple of them, uh, here's your chance to get a box set for the uh, Studio Series SS69 Devastator Multiplac. <laughs> All right, man. I just stuttered everything like that. But anyways, pretty cool. If you missed your chance, this is a chance to get one. Good luck. And then we got this thing up next. Really? I mean, I don't know. This is a fun, fully functional G1 Megatron water gun. This is over in Japan. So more than likely, we're not going to get this. And probably if you try to get this, this through customs, it's not going to make it. So good luck. If you want to get this, you know, try. I don't know. But it's pretty cool, I guess, if you want water guns and, you know, it looks like a real gun. So just be careful. And, you know, don't be stupid and everything. Don't go out there and get shot or something like that. But, yeah, uh, a fully functional water gun that looks like G1 Megatron. Wow. So, yeah, there you go. All right, we got some new Walmart listings for Kingdom, and they actually showed the new prices. So the one thing has gone up, so let's talk about that. Core is going to be $9.99, which is fine. You know, they're a little smaller. Deluxes have gone up to $22.99, Voyagers are $29.99, and Leaders are $49.99. So there was a big, you know, little increase from the Deluxes, which were about $19.99, which, man, I remember when Deluxes were like 10 bucks, but eh, that's the good old days. Let's move on to now. So yeah, that's, you know, it, it's a couple dollars more, but, you know, people have been wanting better paint, better articulation, sculpt work and everything, and I think they have been giving us that. So to throw a little, you know, a dollar or two more, you know, it's getting, it is getting high. I mean, you know, eventually, you know, they're going to get up to $25, $30 for a deluxe and everything. It's just, uh, but that's what they are at right now. I mean, that could be a, you know, a further discussion later on, but as of right now, yeah, deluxes have gone up a little, a couple dollars. So eh, sucks, but I'm still going to get them. I love them. That's how much I like Transformers. So yeah, new listings for, uh, Transformer Kingdom and their prices. All right, if you don't know by now, Hasbro PulseCon 2020 happened this past weekend, and we got some really, really freaking awesome new stuff, man. Up first, we're going to talk about some new Prime stuff, and we get some new reveals for the 10th anniversary of Prime. Oh, man, this is so cool. I've already talked about the box set, but we got a new Megatron coming as well. So we're getting a reissue of Voyager Prime Megatron. He comes with Orange Microns, Hades, and Gorilla Micron. And these were the things that the Takara ones came with. You build them, they're like weapons, and they transform into little, you know, animals or something like that. And they're pretty cool. Uh, but now they're coming with this guy. So we're getting a reissue of the Voyager uh, Megatron, and then we're getting the two-pack of uh, Breakout and the uh, Viacon, the Space Viacon and everything. So, or not Breakout, Breakdown, I apologize. Jet Viacon also. And they're going to have Orange Micron two-pack as well. So that's 
that's pretty sweet. And I can't believe it's already the 10th anniversary of prom. Jeebus, I'm getting old already. But yeah, pretty cool news for if you're a prom lover and everything. This is awesome. I hope they do some more stuff and reissues and just, you know, go back to, you know, prom stuff and everything. So yeah, new uh, stuff from Breakdown and Jet Viacon and reissue of Voyager Prom Megatron. Then they also revealed the Transformers Odyssey 2-pack revealed and everything. So it's the clones uh, from, uh, you know, the top returns of Autobot uh, Cloudbreaker and Fastlane, slightly different decos from the Tuckars exclusive, so they're going to be a little different. That's pretty cool. I might have to pick these up. I didn't pick up the Decepticons ones. I may, if I see them in Target, I think I saw them one time and I skipped on them. But, anyways, yeah, so new, uh, you know, two pack of these two from uh, Transformers Odyssey. You also get uh, Autobot Cloudbreaker and Fastlane. Pretty neat, though, man. That's cool. And also revealed was Transformers Red Wave 2, and we got Prime RC, and we got Beast Wars Cheetor. So with RC, she comes with two forearm weapons, uh, with two blaster weapons, and two energon of, or energy, energy effects, which is pretty cool. I love some blast effects. Alternate trigger uh, figure hands, and comes with dark energon or cube. So really comes with a lot of stuff, and that's pretty neat. I like that. She looks really good. Really, uh, you know, articulation looks really good. You know, the sculpt looks nice. Really nice. So then we got Beast Wars Cheater, man. We got thickened his thighs. V Taper, so is the runner's physique and everything. Golly. Uh, comes with an Energon Crystal, Blaster, and Blast Effects. Awesome. I love that they're coming with Blast Effects. That's so cool. Uh, removable chest plate to see his tra uh, transformation cog, sculpting into in the inside. RC has the same kind of feature, which is cool. And uh, they're going to be off on pre order on Walmart. I've yet to see these. I think they're out of Walmart right now. I think they've been found over here in the States. So I'm really, uh, you know, out there looking for them or anything. I went all weekend. I still didn't find them. So hopefully soon. But yeah, two new reveals for Prime RC and Beast Wars Cheater. Man, they look really good. My gosh, this line's going to be awesome. And real quick, uh, Hasbro PulseCon Transformers Hall of Fame winner. So they had a little vote thing and, you know, people, you know, could vote. So Earthrise Commander Skylink's won Toy of the Year, which is cool. It's a really great toy. Uh, Transformers Prime Knockout was Robot Character of the Year. And Greg Berger was uh, inducted as well. He was voice of Grimlock, Skyfire, Outback, and Long Haul. But he's known for Grimlock is mostly. And, uh, you know, he's a really nice guy. I've met him a couple of times at some of the TF cons and bot cons. And really great guy. So um, it's awesome. I got my uh, MP Grimlock actually signed by him. So really nice. But, yeah, pretty cool. Hey, uh, you know, a little nod to the... You know to the fans to so be able to vote for this stuff or anything so pretty cool great choices and up next we have awesome 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 news man so hasbro pulsecon uh transformer kingdom tour revealed they showed us a poster and man it's got a lot of great stuff it's just weird seeing beast wars and g1 mixed in together yeah got new uh shows a titan size arc which is going to be the last autobots what they're saying so that's going to be our new titan class uh with you know everything so it looks pretty cool uh kingdom deluxe cheater shown kingdom core uh, rat trap uh there's a nor you know the new core class going to be about 3.75 inches tall uh, you got Voyager class Cyclonus, no backpack. Uh, let's see, Leader class Beast Wars Megatron. I mean, you got tons of stuff in here. Um, Deluxe class uh, Black Arachnia, Deluxe Warpath, Fossilizers, uh, Paleo uh, inspired to go in the museum to see the fossils. Uh, you got a head and based off of Optimus Primal's weapons. Um, it's just, oh, there's so much stuff, man, on here. So they show some new characters as well. So they show a Beast Wars Scorponite. You see a little claw over there to the left. You got Beast Wars Polar Claw, which is a really fan favorite for the uh, Beast Wars fans and everything. G1 Gears, G1 Galvatron, Gator Fossilizer, Beast Wars Air Razor and Beast Mode, Ractonite, uh, and then you got Sabretooth Fossilizers on Optimus Primal, Art Titan, like I said, the last Autobot, uh, G1 Inferno, G1 Huffer, Beast Wars Wapsinator, G1 Tracks, Ultra Magnus Earth Mode, and Beast Wars Rhinox, man. So freaking awesome. That's a great battle scene. I mean, you got Wheeljack over there. I mean, golly, just some awesome, awesome stuff. So yeah, they revealed this poster. Hopefully we get all these toys. I would love, we got RC up there too as well. Come on now, Starscream. Oh, wait. Man, so yeah, I hope they uh, release all this stuff. And uh, so, yeah, so a new poster was revealed, and uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm excited. My God, I'm excited. Then they also showed us new box art, which is the new boxes look really good. They're trying to get away from the plastic, you know, everything. So just a little tiny window, you can see stuff. But we got new images of the core Optimus Prime from G1. We got Rat Trap. We got the Vertebrake. Uh, we got that, you know, it's a weaponizer 
looks really cool. It looks really evil, to be honest. <laughs> and then we got Black Arachnia, Cheetor. Uh, we got Cyclonus, Warpath, Beast Wars, Megatron. Cyclonus looks really good. No backpack or anything like that. That's pretty sweet. Optimus Primal, he looks sweet. I love the fur on him. It looks really just awesome. They got so much detail work in this and everything. It looks really good. I mean, my God. I do love the box art. So you're getting more of the art and everything. It looks really nice. I mean, I would like to see the toy and everything, but at least they're showing a little bit so a lot of people won't, you know, be able to, you know, return them and, you know, you know, switch them out for other stuff. I mean, people are still going to do that because, you know, assholes but you know this looks really good i love the box art for all this beast war stuff it looks so good and the g1 stuff looks really well you know well done as well well done as well jeebus but man this is exciting news man i'm so so happy for all this stuff man i just can't wait i put i got all this on pre-order i pre-ordered the red stuff i got some new gi joe stuff i got man i'm the new prime stuff i got all that stuff pre-ordered i'm so so excited to get all this stuff black arachnia man looks really good so yeah new images of their box art and the boxes that come in as well and looks freaking sweet and last but not least, I know it's been exciting, but more exciting stuff is, is coming this way. Transformers Masterpiece Starscream version 3.0 prototype. It says 2.0, but it's 3.0. Oh, uh, we got some new images, man. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. We got additional shots of robot mode showing off the great posability. We have several more shots of the jet mode from different angles. And so it, you can see the kind of the transformation, how it's going to be. I think it looks pretty good underneath, to be honest. Most jets, you know, you see a little bunch of robot kibble. You still can see some underneath, but I think it cleans up pretty good. And you can see new images also of the... Uh, Gerwalk mold, Gerwalk. It's a you know the mold Macross whatever Robotech thing with a Jetfire can do. That's what he can do. So I mean that's pretty cool if you like that kind of thing. But I'm looking for. They did a digi, digi bash of this and it looks pretty good. And I'm so excited for this new Star Scream. Still not seen a waste swivel. May not be there. So that's eh, we'll see. Uh, I just hope it looks you know it just eh, I'm just. Man, it takes my breath away, man. I'm so excited to be a Transformer collector. Uh, new images of Masterpiece Starscream version 3.0 prototype. New images. All right, Starscream. Well, all right, folks, that's all the news we have. And I know you really can't tell that I'm excited, but, man, I I'm excited for all this new stuff we're getting. Oh, man. Kingdom, I cannot wait. Starscream, we got new third party. We got statues that I can't afford. But, man, we got new add-on kits. Oh man, that new reveals for the kingdom stuff. Oh, so good, so good. So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for any of this? I hope you are, man. If you're a Transformer collector, come on now, just a little bit. Just show a little yay. All right, I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. Always be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.